Hello, my name is Chris Updike. Back in the in the late 90s when I started getting involved doing forestry science research with the university, this fire, uh, this is the Horseshoe Fire, this happened in 1994. So the fire was about five or six years old. And, and at that point in time, uh, there was a lot of dead standing trees. So we had catastrophic crown fire that had swept through the area, burned 20,000 acres. And uh, all you had was like a skeleton forest. And, and for me, you know, I, I grew up in Ohio. This was kind of a new, unique experience for me to be uh, you know, walking around in these places that, that, you know, used to be forested and then were completely denuded. I mean, it was, um, it was almost like being on a, another, you know, be, being on another surface, it was like the moon or something, you know. I mean, the fire had burned so hot. I mean, there, there was really very little ground cover and the, the grasses were starting to come back in some of the forbs. And, you know, one of the things I kept thinking about that entire experience was, uh, why are there no trees coming back? And so, you know, over time, you know, you, you begin to learn that, you know, ponderosa pine seeds, they, they don't travel very far away from where the forest is. And so, you know, if you have a giant fire scar like we have here, and this is really not that big compared to some of the other fires that we've had in the state, like the Wall of Fire, the Royal Cheskai Fire, uh, the Schultz Fire, you know, I mean, these are, you know, the, we can, you can lose in, in a matter of weeks, you know, a couple hundred thousand acres pretty easily. And so the forest just doesn't have a way to naturally regenerate on its own once that seed bank is destroyed by, by intense heat. And, um, and so I, I, I got into reforestation about, oh, it was about 15 years ago when I was a Peace Corps volunteer. I, I served in Paraguay. And Paraguay is very deforested. It's, it's lost about 90% of its forest. And so a lot of what we were there doing is, uh, you know, we, we were working with communities and we were doing small reforestation projects. I mean, we would go find parcels of land and we would pluck native trees and we'd get school kids involved and we'd go out and we'd plant them and take care of them and we'd try to really build and create an ethic. And so that was kind of like my first experience. And when I came back uh, to Flagstaff after, after our service was over, I really wanted to continue in that same line of work. And, and I luckily found an opportunity with an ecologist at the university uh, in order to do that. And so, you know, he and I had worked on some of these uh, fires in, in the early 90s, late, early two th late 90s, early 2000s. And, uh, and so we had, we had had these experiences together and we said, well, let's try to do something about it. So we started making phone calls to the Forest Service and we started talking to them about reforestation projects and what their needs were and trying to figure out what it was that we could do in order to get involved. And, and we knew that we had the capacity at NAU to grow great plants. Uh, we, we've got a great research greenhouse you know, we've been growing plants for doing research experiments for, for you know, over several decades. And uh, we wanted to put that expertise to work right here in our own backyard. And we also wanted to get communities involved, too. We, you know, that, that part in the Peace Corps I was really mentioning that uh, we, we felt was so worthwhile was, was getting people involved in an active stewardship activity. And so we, we approached the Forest Service and we were successful. And we were able to get some funding from some foundations, National Forest Foundation, we got some funding from Arbor Day, um, and, and we've been able to go out here and, and do some great work. So this year alone, we're going to do 120,000 trees over two national forests. Uh, we have another very large project down in the Tonto National Forest. It's riparian restoration. It's a little different than, than this. This is, you know, up here with the pines. Uh, but between this year, last year, the year before, the years before that, you know, we're, we're, we're you know, well over a million trees that we've planted. So. You know, it feels pretty good to be a part of something like that and, and you know, help to try to, to do something in your own backyard that's beneficial.